potentially infectious patient. They, did, they just had a bowl of drills. But anyway, they, they tried to ask this guy, or ask this guy. They were trying to find out what he had because they were going to divert him to a different hospital. And let me get down here. I'm not quite awake. I haven't even had my coffee yet. So the patient from the... Uh, all right, where am I here? Uh, I'm trying to find this. Sorry about this. I'm trying to get this out real quick here. So the patient who was traveling through the Clinton area was taken to a different hospital in the state because he or she needed specialized care. And this is a small hospital down here. Now they asked him if it, if it was the possibility of a serious as Ebola. And is there any confirmation to that? He said, no, not at all. I think that would be a very extreme situation. And they're not coming to play in our decision. But he, you know, who knows with these people? We just want to make sure everybody knows that this is going on. They just had down here in, uh, on June 12th, the, lo the latest Ebola outbreak spread from the Congo. Now, they were shipping people from planes out here to South America. We showed that they had the border gates open. The gates were just open. So, uh, anyway, just want to do a little heads up on that. And this is kind of a test because I'm trying to find out if they're throttling my stream in the morning. And I, I got all the links in the description so you guys can read a little bit better. And then you've got a big drought going on over in Maui. Now, a bunch of people got hurt for some planes from the turbulence. So, no breaking records there. And the jet stream is totally freaked out. We've showed that on some, some other stuff. But 37 people were hurt. Nine seriously on Air Canada flight hit by turbulence. So it was diverted from Honolulu International Airport around 6.46 a.m. and exa examined the injured. Now, there is no trade winds. They haven't had any trade winds for a couple months. So they're just like burning up. Let's see what this says here. Air Canada Flight 33 was the roughest ride in this. Flight 33. Can you? You can't make that up. These numbers are ridiculous. Sky today. On a long flight across the Pacific, the plane hit intense turbulence. More than 30 people were hurt on the Boeing 777. There's Chris Van Cleef. Hey, let's get a 777 in there. All right, we won't play too much of that. We've also had the great American shakeout drill going on the same time as the Ebola drill. How'd they know to do all these drills before all these earthquakes? Anyway, we're going to get into this much deeper tonight. We'll get into the weather. We'll get into the earthquakes tonight. But I just want to do a quick little test to see if they're going to throttle my internet down early in the morning and uh, see if I may have to move this on all through anyway. So hands up. You know, if there is an Ebola outbreak, they're going to keep it hush-hush. They're not going to tell anybody what's really going on. So anyway, just wanted to get that out there and get some of these uh, other channels out there to push that information just to force the issue of what's going on with that guy, where is he from, and all that. So, uh, yeah, I know there's a lot of earthquakes going on. Anyway, we'll get into that later tonight. Uh, just wanted to pop this off real quick. And let me see here. Let's play this a little bit. But yeah, I got to go let the chickens out and all that crap. So uh, right now it looks like most of this is staying off shore, but it's going to be doing a U-turn because they're steering the jet streams. Anyway, guys, much love out there. Just